So hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Scalability. So in the last episode, we touched on the... Uh, let me see if I can remember what we did. Uh, well, it's been a while. Anyway, so in the last episode, we touched on deploying a Docker Compose file. And in this episode, I suppose we will be actually looking at... Um, we'll actually be looking at how to set up a load balancer. So firstly, what is a load balancer? A load balancer is simply a utility that you know, distributes load between multiple systems. So let's say I have, uh, let's say I have like three web servers running, right? And we are running our API application on these web servers. And let's say our, hypothetically, let's say our API application can only serve, let's say one request per second, which is absolutely horrendous, but you know, let's just pretend for one second. So what if we, let's say we have, three requests hitting per second. Well, obviously one web server isn't gonna do, our users are gonna experience like terrible performance. Like, you know, they're gonna lag and they're gonna absolutely hate it. So what we can instead do is we can deploy a load balancer in front of these applications. And what that actually does is it allows for the traffic to be split to the uh, to servers that are available to serve them. So in this case, we can deploy a load balancer and we can have these three web servers running behind the load balancer and the load balancer automatically just sends the users, each of the users to one of these application servers and the load will be distributed and everyone's happy. So so um, load balancer usually will, will the usual, usual load balancers we like to deploy for uh, distributed, I guess, uh, cloud stuff, whatever, I know. For these uh, scalable applications, we like to use stuff like Trafic, which is actually really simple to use because we are running it in Docker and it actually con connects to Docker runtime and deploys your containers. The other one we like to use is probably Nginx. That's a bit more complex to configure and possibly even Caddy. So I guess in this case, we will be looking at um, Trafic. So I have no experience with Trafic at all. I've mostly used Nginx and Caddy. Um, but I suppose we can both learn, I well, both, I guess, because you're watching me. Uh, we can both learn something about this. So let's go to a browser and we have a look at traffic, shall we? So traffic, so let's go for traffic and we can see that blah, 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 blah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head to learn and we're going to go to overview and we're going to enter actually traffic proxy. So we're going to go look for the quick start. You can see they provide as a Docker Compose file to start it up with. So we're actually just going to go copy paste this right in there. Like so. And we're going to see traffic. So actually, I'm not sure if, you, if they have updated it recently. So let's go have a look in the Docker Hub and have a look. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is pretty annoying. Um, is Docker Hub down? Is, is, oh my gosh. Okay, Docker Hub is down. Okay, whatever. Uh, so I guess Docker Hub's down. Well, um, we're going to have to do it without Docker Hub. And so we're just going to do, um, we're going to grab this. And right now it's, uh, if we can actually start this Docker Compose file. So if we actually start it, it probably does nothing. So let's uh, fire up a terminal. We can do Docker Compose up. So, okay, so we have set, managed to start a traffic server. So you can see it it just, it doesn't really do anything by itself. Um, as you can see, it says, again, go to HTTP locals, 8080 and API raw data. So let's have a look at this URL, shall we? And we can see that we have a couple of things here. Um, so it seems to be reverse proxying some of my... Uh, yeah, so funnily enough, it seems to be reverse proxying some of my actual Docker containers. So if we're gonna actually stop those Docker containers real quick. So yeah, so that's gone. So next we can actually just, um, so we can see, uh, this simply sets up a container too. Okay, very cool. So, um, how should we do this? Well, let's set up a simple uh, web server, I suppose. We can deploy the WordPress image we deployed in the last episode. So we're actually going to go for WordPress. And we're going to do uh, image uh, WordPress. And we're going to go for latest. And we're just going to attach it ports. And we will forward, I suppose we can forward uh, 869 just to be safe. And yeah, so we will just attach WordPress and we will quickly fire up a new console and we will do Docker Compose up WordPress to start WordPress. And we're just gonna let it pull its thing. So WordPress is started up. We can actually have a look at localhost 8069 to note that we have WordPress running. And if we go to Trafix website, we note that we have WordPress YouTube. So I believe if, so how do we access the, 
Hmm. Right, interesting. So we can maybe go to wordpress.docker.localhost. Oh, that's interesting. Um, who am I dot docker dot local host? I don't know why that actually doesn't. Oh, I need to update the host. Yeah. So, okay. So um, that's probably why. Let's do that, actually. Ladles. And we're going to, yep, so, okay, so we could do a WordPress. And if we quickly do a Docker Caboose down here, and we kill the Docker Caboose here too. So we're gonna do Docker Caboose up. And I uh, believe, okay, so I believe if we have a look, uh, Traffic has discovered our host and we can actually join it now. And as you can see, we are able to attach WordPress. So what if we start another, I guess we can literally just start more host. So let's say we, I don't know, we have a, I don't know what's over what's PHP my admin. I guess we can, we can start that PHP my admin, PHP my admin latest. And we can have, we don't even need to forward any parts. Let's do labels. Uh, just do this. Yeah. And we're going to do Change this to PMA. We do Docker compose down. Docker compose up. Start that. Right. Okay, so we started Docker compose. So if we reload this, we can actually see. Um, hmm. Router name. Oh, oops. Yeah, my bad. So WordPress, uh, let's call this uh, PMA. So yeah, so that's a big typo there. Let's go ahead and start this real quick. There we go. We can start this and we can see that we can access pma.docker.localhost should give us PHP by admin. And if we look at uh, wordpress.docker.localhost, we should get our WordPress uh, wait page. Now, hmm. <laughs> Ah, yeah, we need to deploy replicas equals two. So deploy replicas two. Yeah, so what this basically does is just starts like two instances of it. So we can do docker get those up. Uh, oh, one sec. Uh, docker compose clean, uh, sorry, docker compose up dash dash clean orphans. So that just gets rid of the warning because basically, oh, whoops, uh, I seem to have mistyped docker compose, docker compose. Uh, okay, that's very annoying. Get up dash dash queen orphans. No tap. Oh wow, that's really annoying. How do you do? It? Uh, remove orphans. That's right. That's right. Remove orphans. So we're gonna do remove orphans. There we go. And now we've started two PHP my admins. So if we can go have a look at traffic, we have noticed that. Let's see if it's picked it up. Um. Yeah, so it has managed to pick up the, both our PHP my admin instances. So we can notice that this one is this, and these are yeah, these are. I suppose they are not different enough. So, hmm. what would be the best way to do that? I guess we could build them app. So instead of starting PHP my admin, because you know we we already know that we are actually going to start our own image. So we're going to do um. So we're going to do a. So we're actually going to go go and hit and comment all this crap out. Nice and simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, uh, app and we're just going to call it image. Uh, uh, so we need to build, I guess, a build uh, contact X, I think it's dot and we need to docker file, docker file, obviously, because we have that as a default. And we're actually going to have a look. So docker file is, yeah, yeah. So we're just installing Python and we're exposing a 6969. So context doc, docker file dot and we can do tag um, name, I guess. Can we name it? Hold on. Build. Okay, let's go have a look at build. Yeah, so build context dot build context labels. Is it labels? Hmm. Ah, oh, whatever. It's fine. I guess we don't need to do build. Uh, so we just built it here, and uh, we don't actually need to specify the document file if it's the same. So we're gonna go ahead and name it image. Um, uh, white uh, yt demo app latest i guess i'm going to do that and we're going to actually expose the ports just to be safe uh, we're going to do 
Uh, actually, no, we don't need exposed ports because we're using traffic load balancing. So we're going to go ahead and copy the labels here from here. And we are going to paste this here. So what this, uh, so this basically just tells traffic that we actually want to load balance it. So let's call this app and we're going to do app.docker.localhost. Nice and simple. And that should do. So we're going to actually run a, we're going to run two replicas of app. And I suppose, hmm. Yeah, so we want a good way to know what the current IP address of the app is. So just give me a second. So if we do this and go ahead and this. So let's do that. So we're going to up copy your app. Go ahead and start the app. So it's going to start the following. Hello world. So, 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 so. That's a bit annoying. Uh, maybe we can use request.host instead actually. Yeah, let's go force kill that. Okay, so shit, I don't think it built it. Um Docker continues. Stretch it out. Um, how do we do build? Dash has build, yeah. So we just need to do a remove orphan dash has build. So build our app. Because we updated our files. Uh, that that's probably a better way to do it. So we can bind mount it, but I'm too lazy to do it. So if we open this up, we should do yeah. So uh, what's that do Aiden03? And if we do app dot uh, docker dot localhost and okay, so we actually don't know which instance is getting hit right now. That's a bit. Ah no, we do. So as you can see, um so I'm gonna quickly reload this page. So app dot docker localhost. So if we write a request on this, we hit app number one. If we write the request again, we hit app number two. So as you can see, traffic is actually doing our load balancing for us. So um, I suppose that will be all for this episode. Um, I don't really, um, if you want to go into depth on traffic, I suppose I might release a future episode uh, describing how to configure it. But for now, this should be pretty good, actually. Um, so that's really simple way to scale up your applications. Um, hope this was uh, informative. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>